Hello everyone, this is Russian with Dasha. It's been a long time since I posted my last video in English, so I hope you don't mind my Russian accent. Is it possible to learn Russian using Duolingo? The short answer is yes. Is it possible to get fluent in Russian using only Duolingo? No, it is not. In this video, I'm going to share with you pros and cons of learning Russian on Duolingo and give you some advice on how to improve your language skills. If you haven't started your journey of Russian on Duolingo yet, this video will give you a few tips on what to start with, so the learning process will be easy and fun for you. Those of you who have been on Duolingo for a while can also find some useful information on how to study Russian more effectively. I spent some time getting feedback from my followers and also reading Duolingo forum, and here is what I found out. Speakers from all over the world are taking this Russian on Duolingo course and many of them say that Russian on Duolingo is good if you learn it from English. Let's talk about the advantages of Duolingo. First of all, it is very convenient. You can use it anywhere you want, on desktop or on your mobile phone, and the only thing you need is a good internet connection if you want to use it for free. It is very easy to use, and you can learn at your own pace. Duolingo's league system encourages you to get the points so this makes you practice every day. Users say that it is good for learning Russian grammar and practicing exercises. The app will introduce you to some vocabulary and sentence structures. For example, you will learn how to say in Russian that a person has something or doesn't have something. As you progress, the lessons get harder, so you need to memorize how to spell the Russian words. Users say that grammar is presented at a very high level, it is well structured and almost every important point is covered, but you might need to extend your vocabulary. Duolingo's content is clustered into topics. When you do practice exercises, the app would depend on the wrong answers you get, so you have to practice and practice more until you get the correct answer. The repetition makes it easier to memorize. You can always revise the material that you've already learned. And also sometimes, if you are learning multiple languages, it is good to refer to as they use the similar sentence structures and vocabulary. Now let's talk about the disadvantages of the app. Before you start using Duolingo, you need to learn the Russian alphabet, because the app doesn't teach you that. Duolingo doesn't explain how to make a Russian sentence. Russian word order is different from English. Russian is an extremely flexible language, which means that you can say the similar things in uh, many different ways by changing the word order. That's why on many occasions users get the answer marked wrong, despite the fact that every word is correct. The point of using this app is to have fun while learning, and constant messages that you've done something wrong might be very frustrating, so some students lose their motivation. Moreover, when you have your own studying plan and use Duolingo for only practice purposes, you cannot access the specific topic before you complete the tree and reach the level of that topic. Also, it is not as good as the real-life experience. For example, Duolingo doesn't have many idioms and real life situation vocabulary. In addition, people with a strong accent might not be able to move forward because they would get their audios, their recordings marked wrong. Some users say that the speaking exercises might not work well on PC, so they suggest to use the mobile application. You will definitely have to practice with a Russian speaker to master your pronunciation skills. So here are some tips for you to make the learning process more effective. Number one, learn the Cyrillic alphabet before you start Russian on Duolingo. I recommend you to watch YouTube videos made by Russian teachers. There are so many of them, you can find really good ones. 
You can also practice the alphabet on the websites like digitaldialects.com. Learning the Cyrillic alphabet is not that hard, and many Russian teachers make it very easy and fun. I also have a video on the Russian alphabet. Number two, install a Russian keyboard. Do not ever try to learn Russian using the Latin letters. This is how many people ruin their pronunciation. Russian doesn't sound correctly if you use only the Latin letters. Number three, you need to use the tips notes. They are only available on the desktop version. Learning Russian by mimicking the sentence without understanding the sentence structure doesn't really help, so you need some theory to start understanding why we are using this and these words in the sentence. The Russian grammar is too different from the English grammar. Many users don't even know that the theoretical part exists on Duolingo. That's why I recommend you to use the desktop version of it. You can also look at the answers on the forum, where a lot of native speakers can help you and answer your question. Number four. Another reason to use the desktop version is because you have to type everything by yourself. That's how you master your spelling. On the mobile app, it gives you the cloud of words that you have to click on uh, to make the sentence, which makes it very easy to cheat and you don't really memorize the words, you just memorize the picture of them. Also, there are no hearts on the desktop version, so you can practice as much as you want. Number five, practice every day, even for 15-20 minutes, but do it every day and by the end of the month you will see the progress that you made. Also, you don't have to make every topic gold. Constantly practice and refresh the lessons that you've already learned while learning the new ones. Number six, the goal of learning a language using some app is not completing all levels very fast. The goal is memorizing the vocabulary and sentence structure and speaking. I think it is better to complete six levels and practice your knowledge in your everyday life rather than completing 24 levels and not practicing at all. It is not a game, it is not a competition, it is a language app. Duolingo is more powerful if you use it as a pillar of a multi-resource learning strategy. Pick different resources and switch between them. For example, use Duolingo with other apps like Memrise, HelloTalk, Anki app. Find a conversation partner, read a grammar guide, listen to podcasts, watch YouTube videos, and most importantly, find yourself a good teacher. Of course, you can learn Russian by yourself, but when you reach higher levels, you might struggle with some grammar structures, and also you need a native speaker to correct your grammar mistakes, to correct your pronunciation, and to guide you through the learning process. You will also need a teacher to discuss different topics with you. There are many good students books that you can purchase online so they will be delivered to your home country. Also, don't forget to read stories in Russian. There are so many book adaptations on the internet that you can download for free or get for some small amount of money. Thank you for watching this video, I hope it was useful and please let me know if you know some other tips. Uh, comment below and share your experience. What other apps, what other websites do you use to learn Russian? I just started my first podcast, so check out the links below and follow me on Instagram. I'm very happy that you watched this video till the end. Have a great day and до свидания!